In this video, I am going to teach you how to apply a retinoid to your skin the right way. This is one of the toughest skincare ingredients to get right, but it is one of the best. So let's figure it out in this video, whether you are using this for acne or for anti-aging, this is going to apply to you. My step-by-step -step process for how to get the best results with your retinoid with the least amount of side effects. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, the budget dermatologist. I help make skincare simple and I help you fix your skin without overspending. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel right here and come say hi on Instagram at the budget dermatologist. And if you love simple skincare videos, check out my other how-to videos on my channel. I will link those here. Disclaimer, this is general information for your education and entertainment. This is not medical advice. I always recommend that you defer to your prescriber and follow their directions precisely. So here is how you apply your retinoid. This ideally will be in your nighttime skincare routine. Step one, cleanse your skin with a gentle cleanser. I am using this one by Vanacream for $8 in this demo. This is one of the most recommended brands by dermatologists for patients who have sensitive skin or those who are using retinoid. Retinoids. I'm going to link my favorite gentle cleansers below in the description of this video. Now, what do I mean when I say gentle cleanser? I mean that the cleanser does not have active ingredients in it to treat or improve a condition on the skin like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or glycolic acid or any exfoliating texture or scrub in the cleanser. It is simply serving the purpose to remove your dirt, oil, and makeup from the skin while not disrupting your skin barrier. Step two, pat your skin dry very thoroughly. You may want to even wait a few minutes to make sure your skin is not damp. This is a key step to decreasing your risk of irritation from your retinoid. If you apply your retinoid to damp skin, the absorption can be more intense and that will trigger side effects like redness, irritation, flaking, and stinging. Step three, apply a pea-sized amount of retinoid onto the tip of your finger. You must avoid the temptation of using more than this. Remember, a higher quantity does not mean faster results, it just means more side effects. Remember, this is a treatment product dose. It is not supposed to go on your skin like a thick layer of moisturizer. You will then want to dab this pea-sized amount over your skin. I like to spread these dots around my forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin, and then blend it in as evenly as possible. Make sure you wash your hands after this step because you want to avoid drying out the skin on the tips of your fingers or irritating your nails or your cuticle area or transferring this product to any other unwanted areas on the skin. Step four, once it is absorbed into your skin, it doesn't take long, you want to apply a high quality moisturizer to the skin. This will decrease your risk of side effects like redness and flaking of the skin from your retinoid. Here is my favorite moisturizer to pair with the retinoid. It's by La Roche-Posay, it's called Double Repair. I will link this in the description here. It is a top pick because it has ingredients in it that will strengthen your skin barrier, which is at a high risk to be compromised by the retinoid. This particular one has niacinamide, it has ceramides in it, and it is set in this highly moisturizing base that is not overly greasy or heavy on the skin. So for this step, I dispense a liberal amount of this and thoroughly massage it into the skin. And that is the correct way to apply a retinoid to the skin. And don't forget your SPF in the morning because retinoid usage can increase sensitivity to the sun. Now, if you want some tips here to troubleshoot your retinoid, if you are using this method here, but still getting irritation and side effects, try these tips. One, decrease the frequency of use down to once, twice, maybe three times per week, rather than doing it every night. You need to let your skin adjust before increasing the frequency. Two, decrease the strength of your retinoid. If you are using tretinoin, for example, you wanna start at 0.025% rather than the higher options of 0.05 or even 0.1% then you can increase slowly as tolerated over time if you need to. Three, for excessive dryness, flaking, or irritation, try the retinoid sandwich technique. This means you will apply a layer of moisturizer to your skin first, then your pea-sized amount of retinoid, and then a second layer of moisturizer on top. And last, reevaluate your morning skincare routine. If you are using a treatment active like a topical acid or a vitamin C serum, you may want to pause usage of any other actives until you get acclimated to your retinoid at night. So instead, you can just use a cleanser, moisturizer, and SPF in the morning 
or you can consider a barrier repair product like a niacinamide serum or a ceramide serum. I will link a few of my favorite in the description of this video. I hope you found this simple skincare basics video helpful. I have one on how to apply sunscreen to your face and how to properly double cleanse. I will link those below. So tell me what simple skincare video do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Bye.